today's what I eat in a day video. <laughs> Get your outfit. Come on, you ready for breakfast? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and this what I eat in a day vlog. I'm gonna be sharing everything I eat today, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I would like to thank Splendid Spoon for partnering with me for today's video. If you've not heard of Splendid Spoon, it has been an absolute lifesaver to me since I got back from all of the vacations that we were recently on because it is a ready to go, so healthy. It's vegan, plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO smoothies and soups. So basically for the week, my breakfast is covered with some of the most delicious smoothies I've ever had in my life. And then my lunch is covered which I really prefer. I think a lot of times you've seen in my past what I eat in a day videos, I would do a can of soup. And I love that these soups are chocked full of veggies and they just taste amazing, but they make me feel amazing after eating them too. So it has been the best thing to incorporate into my Mediterranean diet, which I've shared that with you guys in the past. It's really, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle of just trying to eat like the most healthiest, whole, natural foods as possible. And especially since we're prepping for baby number three, and I'm also just trying to get in good shape for spring and summer, because you know, swimsuit season. I feel like this is the easiest thing to do to sort of kickstart like a healthier lifestyle if you're in a little bit of a funk. And I definitely know like on vacation, I was splurging a lot. So it felt really nice to come home and sort of have a nice reset when it comes to having really whole, nutritious smoothies and soups every single day for my breakfast and lunch. But I will have a link for Splendid Spoon. Again, it's great, it's, it's not meal prep, it's already prepared for you. So it's like you grab it and you go. You pop it onto the stove top and heat it up for lunch and it's done. Um, so I feel like it's really nice if you have a busy lifestyle and it's just really cool that like you can be busy but still be healthy with Splendid Spoon. So, I have a link in my description box. If you click that link, please make sure you use it because it's going to automatically direct you to their site where you will get $50 off of your Splendid Spoon order. So please make sure you use that link in the description box if you want to try Splendid Spoon. I couldn't recommend it enough though, which is why I had to partner with them and share it with you guys. But all right, I've got a preschool run. I've got, I want to work out today. I've also got some returns I need to make <laughs> and probably going to be in tow with me. And then we're celebrating Adam's parents' birthdays later tonight. So you're in for a treat on this What I Eat Wednesday vlog. Let's go. In Salt Lake City. Well, I think Auntie Kaylee's house would be like a 22 hour drive. That Luke Combs crazy beautiful song was just on the radio. I love that song, but preschool run, check. I did not wake up early and do my morning workout today though, so I'm gonna bring Presley down the basement to the playroom and try to get in a fast workout. Um, I have one that I uploaded to IGTV though that is so easy to do at home, so if you're looking for one to actually like work out with me, it's on my IGTV. <laughs> you look so cute. You're in your aerial dress, huh? The little mermaid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. You what? Your shoes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Your shoes are on, right? You didn't take them off? Yeah. She always takes her shoes off and we're working on that because you don't get to walk if you take your shoes off, right? Wait. So you have to keep your shoes on. Oh, Those are seriously so good. And I love them. Cocoa oh, almond. That was a good one. Good yeah. Shoes are on. Who is that? Who does that look like? Coley. Let me see. Coley doggy. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Coley. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. You're tickling Coley. I want to buy them all. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy it's spring. So I was not planning on this, but I ended up getting like everything I need for Easter and a bunch of stuff for like Presley's birthday party. So I'll have to show you when like Presley takes her nap because we're gonna go home and have lunch. Sorry if you hear, the Roomba's running. Adam must have turned it on before he went to therapy, but Presley's having some yogurt, some macaroni and cheese, some snap peas, and some blueberries for her lunch today. And I'm going with this soup today. It's the cumin sweet potato. And it's sweet potatoes, cashews, olive oil, cilantro, sea salt, cumin, and red pepper powder. These are called Red Hot Blues. They're by Garden of Eden. Ew. Ew, you don't like them? Mommy Ew. likes them. And I made some water with just like a splash of lemonade. You like it? So here is the finished soup. Done. Uh -huh. All beef done? Yeah. What do you mean? Beef. Oh, you want beef done? Yeah. Beauty and the beef? And Belle, too. And Belle, too? Well, not till you're done eating. She's like obsessed with Beauty and the Beast lately, but so good. It's like, it's very, very hearty. It's like a very thick and hearty soup. Okay, Presley's napping, so I wanted to do a fast little haul of some of the stuff that I got for Easter and then some of the stuff for Presley's birthday, and I need your guys' help because I'm kind of, I got, ended up getting like two sort of different color schemes, so I need your help deciding which one. Um, as far as Easter stuff goes, saw this little cupcake <laughs> mix set of like these little peeps. I'm definitely going to be making those. I'll probably do another like IGTV how to make them. Um, cause I did like a, how to make these like lucky charms cupcakes for St. Patrick's day. Um, then I just found a bunch of books cause I feel like I would rather do books for Easter rather than candy. I don't know. I like, I just, I would rather, you know what I mean? Do something educational than like sugar. Um, so I found Berenstein Bears Easter Classics. Landon loves Berenstein Bears, so does Presley. Um, I thought this one was really cute for Presley, though. Landon will like it, too. It's like you kind of trace the letters, and there's a bunch of flaps, and she's, like, super into flaps. Um, I thought that that was a good one. I like this one. It's the story of Easter, and it, like, really goes through and tells you, like, the story of Jesus. So I liked that one a lot. Um, and then this one I just had to called All Ears, and I thought that that was just like so sweet with Thumper. So I almost did Landon's Nursery when I was pregnant for the first time. I think it was before I knew what I was having. I was gonna do a Bambi Nursery, and then kind of for whatever reason, and I also think we just like found a comforter we really liked um, that was puppies and sports, and it just felt more like, oh, we, like I love puppies and Adam loves sports, so it felt like more of a combination of like things we both liked, but Bambi always sucks me in. Maybe for the third. If I do like a gender neutral nursery, I'll do Bambi. Um, 
Then, this is new. I have never seen this in my life. It's like it holds the dye. Do you see that on the label? So that, because you know, I don't know if you dyed Easter eggs with your kids, but they always like drop them and then they're like cracked. So I thought this was really smart. So I got one for Pete and one for Landon. I thought that was really cool. Um, and then this is not Easter, but I just, I saw it and I feel like it's weird because it's not really my style, but I was with Presley and Presley even like pointed at it. Is this not the cutest little like skater girl overall dress? I don't know, it's so cute. Um, I had to get that for her. And then I actually, I was picking up a pink dress for Presley and she insisted on blue. This one was hanging next to it. So this is gonna be her Easter dress this year. I mean, it has pink flowers on it. So it's like just a very nice springtime dress, but I love that it has the little blue lace. It also has like a little blue tied bow in the back. So that's her dress that she was very particular and picked out while we were there. And then this is for Landon. I'm not gonna lie. They didn't really have much in his size. This was the only like outfit combo that was in a 5T, which is what he takes right now. And it goes with hers, but I mean, it's the pants I actually like a lot more than the top. Like I kind of don't like how the top is like darker. I don't know, talk me into this if you think it's a good one for him or if you think I should keep looking somewhere else. Um, I've got like a month, so. Um, it's also kind of crazy because Easter weekend this year is his birthday weekend, so we're gonna be doing a pizza party Friday night for him. Then Adam's, I always need like two Easter outfits for the kids technically because Adam's family celebrates Easter on Saturday together and does like an egg hunt. And then we celebrate Easter on Sunday and like go to church and all of that. So I always need two Easter outfits for them. So. I might need to keep looking for other stuff for Landon anyways. Okay, here's my dilemma with the birthday party stuff for Presley. I found these little boxes in like this, like the gift wrap or like, you know what I mean? Like where all the wrapping paper is in Target. And so I was thinking I could craft something really cute. Her, I forgot to say this, her theme for her second birthday, her birthday is in May, she loves Minnie Mouse. So it's gonna be like a Minnie Mouse tea party theme. So I was thinking I could put like a bunch of flowers and make like a really cute little centerpiece. It's not gonna be big, it's just gonna be like grandparents, her godparents, and like, you know, very close family. Um, so I wanted to just do brunch food. It was gonna be like an early Sunday during the day, like brunch kind of party. So Target had, it's like coral. They had, it says like let's brunch with like the same, I think, color as like this you know um and they also had like these little plates with gold on them so i picked all of this stuff up um where else oh here i got like gold like yellow gold utensils for it so i could do that like coral and mint which i think is still cute but to me it just doesn't feel like mini mouse because i really wanted to tie in like a mini mouse she's just so into mini she's obsessed with mini and she has this light like pale pink mini stuffed animal in her bedroom that I thought I could like use as part of like the display on the table and all of that. So I also picked up, like this was my kind of original vision. I still wanted like gold, like see how these are like gold glitter, but like a paler pink. And I was gonna do like little splashes of like rose gold too. So I really like these. I thought these were such cute cake plates, but I was thinking something along the lines, like, you know, I could kind of do this. Like that just looks more like the gold and pink Minnie Mouse sort of theme to me. And I was gonna try to find, I know at Party City, they have polka dot napkins. So I was thinking I could find like pink polka dot, like pale pink polka dot napkins to go with this to kind of tie in the mini polka dots. So, yeah, let me hold them both up. You tell me, would you kind of veer off course and just do more of like a spring brunch or would you do the like pinks and golds mini mouse kind of style i'm like like so confused and this is why i do then i like buy everything because i was kind of like well i'm just gonna try to be ahead of the game and get everything even though i technically have like two months until her party but they have this like cute little banner too this could probably go with either one honestly because it has the pale pink but it has some of like the coral and hot pink and gold too so i might just be able to use that no matter what but 
I don't know, you guys tell me, which one do you think would be better? And I'm so excited, I just opened the mail and I got the bridal shower invitation for Adam's brother is getting married in August. So I just feel like we have so much fun to look forward to between the shower and Adam has to play in the bachelor party. I think they're going to Vegas, so. He's got a lot of planning to do for that. And then their wedding is at the end of August. So Landon and Presley are gonna be like the ring bearer and flower girls. Um, like she's gonna have like some of her other nieces and nephews in it too. But um, I've gotta find, she said like a white dress for Presley. So if you know of any good like flower girl dress shops or boutiques for little girl dresses, let me know. Cause I said I would just, she's like just a white dress. like. Honestly, she's like so chill and she's like whatever, but I was like, I'll send you options because I just don't want to pick something that then she like, you know, feels like is out of place for the look she's going for. But send me like good boutiques or like Etsy shops or if there's any recommendations you have for like where to get really good little girl flower dresses from. Because I think Landon will probably just then we'll like rent a tux for him wherever the dudes end up getting their tuxes from. But I'm excited. And I know I shouldn't, but I really want one of these. So I think I'm gonna have one as a little afternoon treat. Isn't everything just butter egg shaped? Pretty much. Yeah. Like Easter candy is the best candy. <laughs> now you have me craving Cadbury eggs. <laughs> Decided to make another coffee to go with my chocolate it's decaf. It's all I've been drinking lately and I feel like it's helped so much. If you're new, I've been having really bad like anxiety chest pains but like making the switch to decaf definitely definitely helps not as maybe peppy in the mornings as I used to be but I think overall like now that I've adjusted I just feel loads better birthday dinner. Got my oil and Parmesan and bread and wine of course. Kids got some macaroni and cheese and some bread and butter. And I think there's like a heaping pile of french fries for them too. Classy Landon. And here is my wedge salad. I ordered this too. So I got the peppercorn sauce and the mushrooms and a filet. Starting to get dark in here. And I think everybody steaks all around, right? Yeah, I forgot to get the blue cheese in the tank. Oh no! Landon, do you have your steak? I'm giving it so I have my steak. The ultimate sacrifice. Yours looks really good too. <laughs> Look what's, what's coming. Oh, <laughs> Sunday was my birthday. Celebrating. I am. Today is the 69th. I know. I'm happy. I hear someone else's birthday. Yes. Both birthdays. They're so good. Say happy birthday, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> that good? Well, I'm gonna end this What I Ate in a Day video here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Being an artist over here. He wants it all to himself.
Instagram. Instagram.